Well, hi, everybody. Grabby Bill is putting a, another light on. Oh, there he Hello. goes. <laughs> How are you? Who's there? Let's get that checking in going here. Let's get the roll call going. We know there's at least three people here, and it's not us. Who's here? You see any uh, no names yet? Here. Well, what's going on? It's Friday night pizza night. But no pizza. Stuffed from lunch. Had a late lunch. Uh oh. I'm getting a text message. It says twelve fifteen question mark question mark. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to text back eight fifteen. Did I accidentally say twelve fifteen or put twelve fifteen no. on? Uh... No, it's just like it just got a... yeah. yeah, it says twelve fifteen. Oh, I'm sorry, eight fifteen. I don't know. I'm checking. I'm checking. Who we got? We got four people here. We had five, or one person already dumped us. Because <laughs> they heard there was no pizza. <laughs> yeah, was, there's no pizza, so we're out of here. There are five. We're back to five. We're back to number five. Let's see. I'm turning my sound down. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing here. So what's going on, everybody? What's happening out there? We got a thousand subscribers, and we're going to talk about that. BK Bowhunter, what's up, Brian? I was just telling uh, Krabby what you commented uh, earlier, that you don't have any rabbit turds for those two stinking dogs. So they can't come. So that's, yeah, so they can't come. That's all they do when they're here. Roger rings a bell to go outside. He rings that bell, and him and Rosie fly down the steps and look for rabbit turds and then rub their faces in it and eat them. It's absolutely disgusting. Whitetail Warriors, Dan's here. How are you? Jake the Fox is here. Kelly's here. Mia's hey. here. Hey, Mia. Mia, feeling good? We talked to her this afternoon, woke her up. But uh, she's feeling pretty good. Her white blood cells are going up and up and up. It's all great news. My favorite couple of honeymooners. It's me. Ralph and Alice. Ralph that's and that's Alice. That's about right. <laughs> that's us. Um, so what's going on out there? We, uh, what's this? Okay, Bill Hunter's chilling on the porch. Chilling on the porch. Yeah, speaking of porches. Yeah, we just uh, we were just filming a little video downstairs, putting our new porch furniture together. We didn't do too bad. It was no. Two hours and maybe two hours and twenty minutes, and we put we have two. If you saw the last video, we have two sets of uh, patio furniture. We put them together and did not kill each other. I'm hoping. The GoPro was still on when somebody threw the first punch. You deserved it. Oh, yeah. Does that mean anything? <laughs> Just because you deserved it? It's like a, it's like a mosquito. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you know. <sighs> oh, you work out. You carry yeah. out, um, bundles of shingles. Bundles of shingles and two by 12s all day, you know? So anyway, Phil's on here saying hello to Mia. Uh, so we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for our thousand subscriber giveaway. Good idea for the giveaway. A date with Krabby. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Hey, Jay's here. How you doing, Jay? Jay's also, uh, from the 856 Hunt Club, which is from the same road that we live on up in the mountains. Um, well, yeah, where I live up the mountains because somebody won't go there with me. Um, so I am Janine, living. Yes, deer head, deer head. <laughs> she Happy wants us birthday. to give. She wants us to give away a deer mount, and it's her birthday. It's Mia's mom. Her name's Janine. Today's her birthday. Uh, so Stephen is with and with Mia, her mom, and I assume Ange is there with them too, uh, celebrating Janine's birthday. Twenty uh, nine or 
30. Is she this year? I think she's 30. She's 30 this year. 30. Happy 30th birthday, Janine. But uh, back to Jay. Jay was watching a video one time and he sent me a, a message. Do you live near Glen Oaks? Sure do. And it turns out that he also stays near Glen Oaks. But uh, who we got here? Mia. And your son is here. I did mention him. Uh, I was on the phone with him a minute ago, but he was running out to uh, uh, relocate his car. Uh, I'm assuming he's coming back. But uh, I didn't hear from him today on his way home from work, which is very odd. So uh -oh. I had to call him. Uh -oh. But uh, if you guys remember to, the owning controversy. The owning is up. So I videotaped us making the turn and pulling up to the house. With the awning up. Okay. Finish that. I'm sorry. I was reading what Phil was saying. <laughs> I didn't read it yet. <laughs> I pulled up and she had zero emotion. So apparently she's not happy with the awning. I, I didn't say that. I said it's going to, it just looks, it's not what we're used to looking at. I have to get yeah. used to looking at it. I think we'll enjoy it. I asked her if it was nice. And she didn't respond. So I don't know what to say about that. Weekend at Wildwood in the summer, hosted by Krabby Bill and Lisa for a giveaway idea. Well, I don't know if we're going that far or <laughs> are we going to go as far as a date with Krabby? <laughs> um, a date with you. I believe they're, I'm Krabby Bill. Oh, we You're have, Krabby. We would, we would have 10,000 subscribers if it was a date. Grabby Bill. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> Chicks dig me. Huh? <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. What are we going to give away? We don't have a hat maker anymore or a t-shirt maker anymore. We still haven't found one. I have a, a guy that I used to work with that has a... a uh, I got a guy. I got a guy that used to uh, work with us. He opened up a uh, T-shirt and embroidery shop. I have to give him a call. Uh, I've seen the things that he, the shirts that he does. As a matter of fact, I have a few of the shirts that he makes, uh, but I have to see what he would uh, what he would do uh, for the T-shirts. So, with that being said, I'm leaning towards a gift card. Okay. For where? I don't know. Amazon, Amazon gift card. Somebody had recommended an Amazon Somebody. gift card. Mia recommended an Amazon gift was it Mia? Me. I'm sorry, Mia. I'm sorry. I uh, didn't realize that it was you that uh, recommended that. But I'm thinking I'm thinking Amazon gift card. Uh, but now we have to come up, I guess, you know, on our next video or the video that we, we'd be making this weekend, we'll mention on there, I guess. I don't know, subscribe and leave a comment. I I, I really don't know. Uh, see, Mia recommended a shirt. Smarty you pants. You're right. She's right. She, she, you're, she knows she's right. You're right. It wasn't me. So somebody recommended. Uh, you did. Didn't you do it? I well, just did. Now, no. Someone car. had said to me, you should give away an Amazon gift card mm -hmm. or a gift card. I, I, I believe it was an Amazon well. gift card. So I think that's probably a good idea for the amount of stuff that we order, or at least I order. From Amazon, I, th I assume everyone else is always ordering from Amazon too. So maybe we get a $50 Amazon gift card, do something like that. But then we have to come up with a way to give it away. Throw them at us. Throw your throw your thoughts at us here, folks. All 15 of you that are here right now. What do you, I don't know. What do you think? We would show the dogs too because I think that's what got us all the extra subscribers. I put on two videos, a bars construction shirt. Do they make them? I, I don't think they, I don't think they it's have in any the of them. washer. Yeah, thank, finally. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thought I was with Jake the Fox. <laughs> Only kidding. Only kidding. Um, what was I saying? A lot. Besides a lot. A lot. I mean, what do you, what do you think about how, how to give it away? Subscribe, leave a comment, and then there's a thing. On, I know there's a there's a program on the well, they're on order on the uh, on YouTube 
where it will randomly select. We get a little wheel. It would get a little wheel, turn a little wheel. It would randomly select a person in your comments. So maybe we'll do something like that. Guy. I don't know. So what's Dan saying? I went through the same thing with my giveaway. Yep. Phil, Jay wants a large. I, uh, I have a large. I'll donate a CGS outdoor shirt for your giveaway. Hey, always. I'm a double X. I'll take one. <laughs> and when I get when I get shirts made, I'll send you one. Uh, always, always interested in a new T-shirt. Um, do you know who the 1,000 subscribers? No, I tried to find out, and um, we got. Oh, that's what I was talking about. The dogs. I had. I made a short video with the dogs. They were sitting here staring at me to the point where I thought I was a dog treat or something. The way they were looking at me, I thought these two chihuahuas were ready to. I thought these dogs were about to attack the way they looked at me. So I put a short video on there saying scary dogs and it put us over the top. I think the video got like 8,800 views. So well, everybody that's a cute dog. Everybody. Those dogs are cute. What are my feelings? They're driving me insane. Now, Roger, Roger, they're so much better. Roger's so much better, but it just, it seems like as soon as you say that they're better, he eats the sofa or something. <laughs> He's never eaten a sofa. He, he nibbled, nibbled, nibbled on the corner of the one sofa. As soon as you walk in the door, <laughs> it's right in your face. Well, we didn't think about it. We could switch. They're the same towns. Actually, you're them. right. We could switch them so that, <laughs> well, that corner, right. We'll oh, back here. Great. You won't even it. Now, oh. tomorrow, we'll get a hernia trying to move a count. All the work I have to do. And we have tons and tons and tons of work that has to be done down here. Didn't I leave my work pants home? I got no clean work pants. No work pants I could use. I got to crawl under the deck and throw away all the old white. Do it in your underwear. All the old white siding is under there. The old roofing's under there. I have to dig it all out and take it to the dump. But I'm not going to do it in my jeans. I don't want to ruin another pair of jeans. Uh, although <laughs> my 38s are getting a little loose. I had a buy size 36 work pants, thanks to Phil Barr. Pick it up. There's Pick it up those 600-pound 2 by 12s Jeez. Do decks really yeah. need to be built with 2 by 12s Can you give him something lighter to lift, Phil? Because he's <laughs> getting all my hairs. <laughs> Uh, I'm all black and blue. Well, black and blue. Uh, my you could do a trail camera for a prize. Yeah, I, that's not a bad idea. Buy a trail camera, but we have a lot of subscribers that that aren't necessarily into hunting. I thought you were tired. You're working more now. I'm working a couple days a week with Phil. Uh, Phil did me a huge favor during the summer, and I enjoyed working with him at that time. So uh, I'm helping him out a couple days a week up the mountains. And uh, so it's a double for me. I get to spend time up the mountains and I'm, I'm, I'm working and I'm losing weight. Double for me. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. She gets to uh, what? sit home and enjoy herself with the dogs. How's that? Not watch YouTube and Gold Rush. Okay. We'll watch Netflix. She watches murder mysteries in foreign <laughs> languages. The last thing I want to watch is a murder mystery. All right? I watched murder mysteries for 38 years already. I don't need another murder mystery in my life. Got to stay moving. Like you're absolutely one. you're absolutely right. You do have to stay moving. I uh, I was getting really heavy. I, my heaviest I've ever been was 274. So today when I got on the scale, I was 238. But... Um, I had to buy size 36 pants now. I was moving into 42s and the two pairs of pants that I just bought to work for bars construction, <laughs> deck building extraordinaires. Um, I had to buy 36s. And there's another problem I'm having. I usually buy, I would buy 36, 32s. Shrinking. 32s are a little long, so I'm kind of shrinking, just like my dad did. Uh, at least it's not Hallmark Channel. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Uh, plan on doing any turkey hunting? Uh, no, I've never, never turkey hunted. And uh, I was talking to uh, Brian from BK, uh, just saying that I'm going to have to follow his channel just to learn something about it. I I don't know that I would eat the turkey. So I don't, I mean, as far as shooting a turkey, if I was going hunting with him and he eats turkey, well, then I, I would be happy to shoot one uh, and give to his family. But we don't, we don't really eat turkey. Uh, whether it's wild game or store bought, uh, eat turkey once a year. Pops misses me already. Oh, I know he does. Oh, I'm sure oh, he does. He enjoys my company. Uh, I was telling stories about him today, laughing as we were driving, uh, driving down here today to uh, tell him Krabby, sixty pounds in the last year. Wow! Congratulations. That's Size great. thirty-eight to a thirty-two. Feeling great. Keep it up. You're absolutely right. Uh, when I first started losing the weight. Uh, my cardiologist office actually called to say, hey, we saw that you went to your regular doctor, uh, my family doctor, and had blood work done. We saw the results. Keep up the good work. So that kind of kept me motivated. Um, my secret is intermittent fasting. Oh, over here. Here it is over here. <laughs> Vodka and diet cranberry with a little bit of lime. First one of the night. I did have a beer earlier, but it was kind of skunky. So uh, we threw away all the beer in the fridge. Hey, you two. Good to see you again. Crabby, you have your hands full with this guy. This is true. I'm glad retirement is working for you. Cheers from Northeast Missouri. Well, Bill, let me tell you, as a birthday present to Crabby this year, I told her to quit her job. She's retiring May 16th. And you know what? She can come to the mountains with me every week. Everybody we can pray for me. we can spend twenty four hours a day, seven days a week together. I know she's looking forward to it. Yep, you're not going to see her up the mountain. She's not going to come. She's Already not going to come. Looking for a part time. Job. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The zoo's not hiring yet, so. No, oh, you don't want to work at the zoo. The zoo's a mess. You work here before? No, but you see, the zoo's a mess. Christ, I went to the zoo. I had to take a gun with me. And then I go to go in. They wand you. Oh. So fortunately, I was okay. But it's not a great neighborhood. It's not a great place to work. And there was no animals. They got rid of most of the animals. It was it sad. Was the, it was March. Beginning of March. Every other time we go on a nice sunny day in March, the animals are there. The elephants weren't sleeping. They're there's, gone. There's no elephants. There was only two gorillas and a baby gorilla. There was only two orangutans and a baby orangutan. What happened to all the other ones? They're on vacation still. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll have to go to the uh, Bronx. Bronx Zoo. We've been to the Bronx Zoo. Bronx Zoo's very nice. Very nice. It crowded. Why? I couldn't believe the crowds. We got there as the gates opened. And it, we went right to the gorillas, which is what we normally do. So you could spend extra time there. And it was packed. We went through the zoo and went back to the gorillas. And you were in there. It was like trying to get through the crowd like this. Hey, our son, are, my son's here. What's this? The gorillas are the best part. That's You're right, absolutely Brian. right. That's right. Absolutely right. The gorillas. We, we probably sat. I don't know how long we sat and watched them. And they really weren't doing anything other than um, eating lettuce, romaine lettuce they were eating while we were there. Uh, the baby wanted to play, but the other two didn't want to play with it. The one was napping, and they really didn't want to do anything. Come on. Jump in here. <laughs> Jump in here. Jump in here. You got something? So who's, who's – go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let me sit back for a minute. Go ahead. Sit back. Relax. Mm -hmm. Come on, your wit. Just like Jacob, my wit. Remember that? She, I text her to say, hey, we just hit 1,000 subscribers. Her response, that's due to my wit. I'm like, yeah, that's it. Well, that is, it is, that is. I know, I know a lot of you uh, folks out there uh, are always happy to see Krabby in the videos and uh, prefer to see Krabby in the videos. Um, our little banter back and forth. Uh, I don't know that you'll be happy to see her punch me in this week's. <laughs> see, there it goes again. I don't know if you'd be happy to see that happen. 
But um, what else we got going on? What else we got going on? We got our wedding anniversaries next week. Tell them how many years. Come on, tell them. Tell them. 52. Stop. Tell them the truth. 37. She's so lucky she married me twice. Two times. He asked me twice. And the only time, only reason he asked the second time was because he said, what do you want to do for our 25th anniversary? I said, I would love to go to Paris. No! That's what he said. No! Then he came up with, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I getting out of this? How am I getting, oh, you want to get married again? And it was beautiful. It was. It was really nice. The whole family mm. was there. We had a bus. We picked us up at our house, took everybody to the church and into a, a really nice uh, restaurant that we had booked for everybody. They had a private room. The food was amazing. Uh, we had a really nice time. Uh, Stephen says, uh, I can confirm that I was there. Thank you very much for the congratulations. Uh, yeah, she's so lucky. Two times, Mary and me. So, what do we have? Oh, we're going out to dinner. Mm -hmm. Going out to dinner for a wedding anniversary. We're going to Butcher and Singer. Butcher and Singer. Butcher and Singer. And then, what do we have going on after that? We have our son's 30th birthday coming up. Mm -hmm. um, and then... We can we have... Retirement. Oh, we have a retirement party next weekend too. So we have we have our anniversary on Thursday and then a retirement party on Friday. And then Krabby actually took a vacation day. <laughs> she has 12 days to use before she retires May 16th. And I keep telling her, take a day off. Like, let's go do something. Take a day off. <sighs> I have so much work to do, which is why I want her to quit. I have so much work to do. She's all stressed out over it. She's a very conscientious person, apparently. I guess that's where our son gets it. I would have taken off. Yeah. Okay, Mister. How many? How many sick days, vacation days you had saved up? Five thousand hours sick. I had saved when I retired, and I had over seven hundred hours vacation and eight hundred hours holiday time saved. But you're I, going to give me a hard time. But. Oh, I but, take it off. I take it off. I take it off. I was addicted to the overtime. I didn't want to miss out on any overtime. Let me tell you. That's why you can quit your job. <sighs> so where's the dogs? Roger, Rosie. They won't come out. They're sound asleep. Their bellies are full from sitting in the yard eating rabbit turds. We were down there putting the furniture together. Turds. What do you want me to say? Poop? All right, they were eating rabbit poop. And uh, now they're all tired out. Here they come. Uh, she's carrying Rosie. Roger, Roger, I guess, wasn't getting out of bed. Come here, bud. Come say hello. Come on. Come here, Roger. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come under. Come under. No, he doesn't know. He'll no drag. Come here, you. Here. For those of you that wanted to see the dogs, here they are. And they're not afraid of me, like a couple of you said in that in the remarks of the com in the comment section of that short video. Those dogs are scared of him. They're scared. They're not. There ain't no way. These two dogs rule this house. But Nikishi is three at a it's got a belly full of turds. Ooh. Does it really make a difference whether I say turds or poop? It does. But here they are. See, they're not beaten. They're not abused dogs. They're just bad. Oh, don't lick my face. Now you're done. You're done. See you, buddy. You're done. Go ahead. You can go back to bed now. You made your appearance. I could put down chihuahuas, crazy little chihuahuas in the count in the uh, in the tag section now. All right. Uh, she'd be lost without you. You know what, Dan? Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I've or always said that. Around, I've always said that. If it wasn't for me, she'd be in the back bedroom of her mother's house with a house dress on and probably three, maybe four cats. Yeah, I think so. Now we start her. 
Don't remember anybody kicking her door down to come get her. <laughs> I'll stop. I always tell people, I don't know what I did to deserve her. She deserved so much better. You don't have to agree. <laughs> I always tell people good, that. I always tell people that that she does. She deserves better. She does everything. Everything. She's such a kind-hearted person. <laughs> and I'm irresistible. <laughs> and she's given in too to the beard. Telling me to leave it this length. Don't do it. Don't cut it that way. Cut it this way. Now they're putting commercials on. You're live to pay for your big money you're making. Oh, are they? Is there a commercial on there? Was there a commercial on it? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. We don't. I didn't see it on here. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see any. So I guess, you know, it's just advertising, you know what I mean? Just a little something, something. There was a commercial. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes, there was one. Oh, yeah. Was it anything good? No? Okay, probably not. I'm waiting for somebody to, to contact me and say, we'd like to sponsor you. Drive our new truck. You can have a new truck. Yeah, but how about a new one for free? How about a new one for your wife? Okay. A little a Ford uh, Bronco Sport. It's Ford Bronco. No, we're done with the Fords. We're done with the Fords. I've always had a Ford. Have always had a Ford and was so disappointed that the amount of money, how much they cost now, and how much they've taken away from their trucks, like the things that you used to get in your truck when you got an XLT, you have to pay extra for now. So I'm done. Done with the Fords. I'd like to get Lisa a little Subaru. I think they're a really nice car. My brother was just in a, a really serious auto accident with his car. Uh, he said that the car was lifted off of the ground. He got out and walked away. Got out and walked. What could, more could you ask for? And the car's repairable. It's like ridiculous amount of like $13,000 worth of damage. But if the car's repairable and he walked away. So. Um, uh, what do we got? You just made 10 cents. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing when I get up the mountains. Hey, Phil, you better ready to be ready to go out. We're going out. Spend my 10 cents. Go ahead, add your two cents. Go ahead. Uh, next week, I'm only working Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, I'm, work, I'm going up Monday night. I'm working Tuesday and Wednesday. And then our wedding anniversary is Thursday, Friday. We have um, the okay. retirement party. Is it Friday? Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, we'll just stay down here and enjoy the weekend. We'll stay in, we're staying until Monday, I think. Yeah, we're staying until Monday. Right, because I don't have to work Monday. Because I took a day off. It says, uh, my son's saying it looks like you have a goatee. I guess that's because of the way the light it's is. It's there. It's oh. See? It's there. Very abusive. So I've been punched twice, and you saw my hair get pulled once. Just please, everybody, remember this. Please remember this. Um, what do we got? Anybody have any questions? We can always take questions. Tony Taylor. Hey, Bill and Krabby. Hey, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so come on. Who's got a question for us? Beard looks great. Great. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> yeah, right. You talking to me or her? All right. Uh, there's a video coming out tomorrow morning also. Yeah, we have a video coming out tomorrow morning uh, from last weekend and a little bit from up the mountains over the weekend. I really didn't I, I don't film while I'm up there now because I'm working for Phil Barr and 
it wouldn't be right to be, although I do take pictures of all the jobs we're doing. I don't, uh, uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be walking around filming while we're supposed to be working. Um, congrats once again on a thousand subscribers. Got to run for work in the morning. Whoa. On a Saturday. Hmm. Damn. It's time to retire, bud. Uh, Phil Barr. What are you getting done down here this weekend? Well, well Phil, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. There's a thousand things on the list, but when we got here, <laughs> We sat around for a little bit. We had lunch. And then he decides we're going to put the furniture together for the porch. The, the, the life the life size furniture, regular furniture. Adult furniture. Adult we furniture. now have adult size furniture on the front porch. So we spent the next two hours like a lunatic putting the furniture together. Not like a lunatic. Yeah, you were the, like a lunatic. It took, it took us like two and a half hours to put. Four, Four chairs, chairs, two love seats, two tables together. All right. All those little bolts and all that. And she wants to use the little Allen wrench that no, comes with. I'm like, well, no. no. Except it comes with the tools. I said, well, I'm <laughs> going to show this. I got the drill. I got the Allen key. Rrr, screwed it all together. So the first one took us an hour and like 20 minutes to put together. So then I was like a lunatic because I said, Let's get this one done in less than an hour. So then we rushed through it and we got it all put together. And she's like, oh, it's barking orders. Where's the screw? Well, you got another screw. I need a big screw. You got a little screw. I need a little screw. How about the caps? The caps ready? Where's the cushions? Get the cushions ready. <laughs> it's supposed to be relaxing. Here goes Rose. Full speed ahead, Bill. Oh. Where's your Give mommy a big kiss. Here. <laughs> Can you hear? <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, well, that's what we did. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to power wash the back decks and the front deck. Uh, there's mud everywhere. It, it's rained so much here. Well, on my uh, weather station up the mountains, it, I, it wasn't working. I had to replace the... Uh, um, I had to replace the uh, batteries in it. So it didn't work until I'm going to say the beginning of February is when I finally got it working again. And it already shows that there's been 11 inches of rain up there since the beginning of February down here. It has to be significantly more. Yeah. This is the first weekend we've been here that you're able to walk on the grass without your feet sinking feet into sinking. the mud. It's a mess. So I, I, we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to go to Home Depot, of course. You know we're going to Home Depot. <laughs> we always go to we Home Depot. have to accessorize the yes. furniture. Right. See, she wants to get accessories. I want to get 15 bags of topsoil. I want to get uh, weed and feed. Big rocks for all those steps. Stop the sand. I can bring home 10,000 big rocks just from our yard up the mountains. They're going to be aesthetically pleasing. If, if you come up and pick them out. I should have taken the blue stone, Phil. It really bothered me that I didn't take uh, the blue stone. No trout fishing at all this year. Um, I didn't even buy a license. Uh, I'm, I'm When I go up there, it's usually I have one day uh, that I go up there and then I'm working for Phil, you know, two or three days. And then I have a day that I'm coming home. It's my own fault that I haven't gone fishing. There's plenty of time after work to go fishing. Uh, there's plenty of time on the day, you know, the travel days to go fishing. I just, I get up there. It's so relaxing. Um, I, I, I was making a comment that the other day to somebody that, you know, after working for Phil, extremely hard, <laughs> I come home. I grab a beer from the refrigerator, go to the porch, take my boots off. I put my feet up. It's two hours later. And he's asleep in the chair. It's two hours later. I haven't even had dinner yet. So by the time I eat dinner, then the other night, I went to bed at nine o'clock at night. I slept until eight in the morning when Phil texted me. I, I slept for 11 hours. Now, and you guys out there all understand it. I got a cold. Right? We know how much don't they have. have a cold. It's allergies. So Dr. Krabby over here, 
right? Says it's allergies. And I'm saying it's a cold. It's, I mean, my sinuses are horrible, sore throat. What's this? Perry County Whitetails. What's going on? Check it in. Has them boots. I didn't get to watch that video yet. I saved it for my watch later. I got to, I got to watch your last video with the boots. Um, your six month review. So how are you? How's things down here in Perry County? Uh, so we got awesome boots. So we got it covered now. We got Luzerne County. We got a bunch of people from Luzerne County. We got East Missouri. We got Wisconsin. Uh, we had West Virginia. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, yep. That's what we got at Perry <laughs> County. We got them all here. We're covering this map. So oh, we, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We had done a live feed in a little while. Right? The last time I think we did it, we were here too. Right? We did it with Steve. Oh, we did. Right. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. I forgot all about that. We did a live feed with our son there. Well, we don't have any pizza tonight because we had a, a big lunch. We didn't, I didn't realize that it was four o'clock. Well, we Krabby, <laughs> Krabby makes, I'm telling you, delicious bar food. She made hoagies tonight. Ohio. Ohio. Well, hey, Kelly, Kelly. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Jay, I counted you as Luzerne, Luzerne uh, from up the mountains. But, um, Ed from Sunbelt Reynolds. He hasn't checked in yet. Uh, we haven't we haven't heard from him. I guess since um, since you rented the jackhammer from him. So I don't know if he's here or not. But if you're here, Ed, throw a comment on there so we know you're here. Sunbelt Reynolds took care of Phil Barr uh, when he went in there, and uh, when he went in to rent the jackhammer, uh, this Ed was like, "You're Phil Barr. You were in North Wildwood this week at Crabby Bills." Uh, our son is saying that Krabby makes the best wings in the tri-state area, which she does. Her wings, pizza, cheesesteaks, hoagies. She made hoagies tonight. Were absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Steven says, Chef Krabby. I told her uh, a little while ago, too, that we have to go out and clean up our uh, barbecue grill and our griddle uh, so we get some hibachi bill things going again. Uh, well, I think the last time we were down, we did have uh, pulled pork tacos. Oh, man, they're so good. Oh, that's what <laughs> yeah, so we're having pulled pork tacos. But we made, the one time we made um, uh, street corn, Mexican street corn. Oh, my gosh, it was good. And then I like all the rices and stuff like that. But that's why I was 274 pounds, too. I can't, I, I just can't do it all the time. So the intermittent fasting seems to be working, along with not drinking so much beer. Uh, my vodka and diet cranberry with a little bit of splash of lime, which I had to make by myself tonight, too, by the way. Just saying. Punch twice, beard pulled, <laughs> made bone drink. We keep in track here, folks? Who went to the store and got any vodka? Me. Who got you the diet cranberry? Me. Who made you the bag of ice? Me. Who got you the what, did you do rub water on Me. your heart? Yeah. Who brought you the cup? Me. Hmm. It's always me, me, me. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. What are you drinking anyway? Strawberry lime margarita. Strawberry lime margarita. With some of your lime. <gasps> See it? It's in there. A big chunk. She's a uh, she's a whiskey sour drinker now. Jameson. <laughs> we go to our friend's bar, the Mifflin Tavern. Best cheeseburgers and wings around, by the way. And uh, what is this? Five Krabby. What's that say? Stephen Kelhauer, Krabby Bill, Krabby. Ten thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Krabby Bill five. Krabby ten thousand. Okay, I got gotcha. you. But um, we go to our friend's bar, the Mifflin Tavern. Best cheeseburger around and wings. Korean uh, broccoli. Korean broccoli, too. We go in there and uh, Krabby says she wants a whiskey sour. So I'm waiting for them to say they got to run to an antique shop to get sour mix. But 
they whoop up a whiskey sour for her and they use Jameson. Well, next thing you know, she's got a Jameson t shirt. She's got a Jameson, Jameson koozie. I'm a Jameson <laughs> drinker. Uh, that's not how it went, but that's pretty much how it went. That's story. pretty much how it went. Look, you should you should see these two dogs over here sleeping. I'm getting a message from John Banjo. He's sending me photographs. Oh man, you should see. Wow. He's having his. Uh, <laughs> Do they have a raccoon? His buck is at the taxidermist's office. I don't know if. How do we do this? Let me do it this way. Do you see the size of that buck? Oh, there it goes. Look at the size of that buck the taxidermist has. He's doing it for him. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, Mexican street corn is amazing. It is absolutely delicious. We um, think we only really made it the one time, but we bought... Because we turned it into a giant production. No, well, we did. But, but you know, that's half the fun. We bought regular corn on a cob, and we cooked it on the barbecue grill, which I love. And then we sliced it off the cob onto the griddle, and we went from there. Mike, man, the deer has to walk through the woods sideways. Yeah, you're not kidding. Mike, where are you from? We, uh, we covered just about everybody else. Where's Mike from? Um, clear as mud. Arkansas. Arkansas. We got Arkansas in the house now. We're covering this map. Jeez, we're hoping to come see everybody starting this <laughs> fall. Actually, in this in uh, in June, we're going to uh, Fogelsville, Pennsylvania, for a wedding. So we're going to go there for a few days and stay at this Glass Burn Inn. But come October, uh, our first trip is from. We're going to go from Philadelphia to Savannah, Georgia. And we're going to hit a couple of places in between. Uh, we're trying to map that out now and figure out time-wise. And we do have a couple of little restrictions, which are Roger and Rosie. And then Lisa also helps her sister uh, with her mom, so with their mother. So, uh, you know, we can't be gone for weeks. And we want to be around for our son and daughter-in-law, uh, who's doing amazing, by the way, right now. Uh, we're so happy uh, that... Uh, Things are improving for her, and we hope that, you know, there's some light at this end of this tunnel, this uh, horrible road she's been traveling this last couple of months. But Becca's here. Good evening. How are you? Um, yeah, so we're looking to go from Philly to Savannah probably the second week of October. Uh, he's sending me more pictures. It's going to look good. You're absolutely right. It's going to look good. I have to answer this text. We're just. This is my life. I yep. have to answer this. Text. <laughs> I just had to watch this one more video. I'm finishing up this video. Uh, oh, yeah. oh man! Does everybody have one of these at home, or is it just me? You're lucky. Yeah, I am a lucky man. Beck is from Perry County too. You're from Perry County too. Okay. Perry County Outdoors. <laughs> well, <laughs> bar is in appro approving your vacation time in October. <laughs> uh, well, I got to tell you, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Only five days. Yeah, we're, well, I, right now, I'm thinking we need to go longer. She wants to do five days, but we're going to multiple places. And if somebody, like, we could do five places if we're going to Charleston and Savannah. So you do, you know, his deer scored 145 and three eighths. That's big. That's a big deer. But um, so we're going to, we're going to take right now. We're looking at five days, maybe six days, but if we had another pit stop in there, um, you know, I would, I wouldn't mind adding two more days to it. What's the difference? I mean, um, two. What's at least it says two. <laughs> How did Jake the Fox get his name? You're on air, Jake the Fox. Jake can answer that question for you. Slithered around the woods like a little fox all the time. Wait. 
slithering around the yeah. woods. Weirdo. I'll weirdo you. Um, Jake the Fox wants to know why you haven't made a wings lately, by the way. Uh, probably because something he said. What did he say to you? I don't <laughs> uh, or something you said he said. Well, I, I may have called you and claimed he said something, which exactly. I've done a number of times with him sitting there, too. So it's not like I do it behind his back. Uh, it's just a random name I, I came up with, and I liked it. That's a good reason. And he's got he's got a fox talking head thing. Uh, what's up, Perry County's Whitetails? Welcome to support. Welcome to supporter. I don't know what that means. I got a heart though. I don't know what it means, but we love you. All right, how do you do it? How do you do it? I get. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We have The Godfather on now. I don't know how many of you have ever watched The Godfather. Well, know. We know one person who did it. Jake the Fox. Two. Mia. Oh, right. Our daughter in law, Mia, too. This is probably, I don't know, how many times have we watched this? 1,500 times would be a low estimate. If it's raining out, yeah, why don't you throw on The Godfather? If it's snowing out, Throw on a Godfather. Uh, we're hungover. Throw on a Godfather. Nothing to do today. Throw on a Godfather. It's on every single night on Cinemax. Is it? Every single night, Godfather One and Godfather Two's on her. Just purchased them. You did. You are the absolute first person to ever purchase a membership to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I will get you that new bolt, that new <laughs> Subaru. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Subaru cars. Like I, I mean, they're they're a good looking car, and you hear all these great safety things about it. Uh, Mia's refusing to watch. The Godfather. Don't tell them. You you can't. You have to come over to the house and watch The Godfather with us on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> to pizza. pizza night. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, that's what we should give away a pizza. I wish she could freeze the pizzas. Because when I go up the mountains, it's always the same thing. She sends me with a frozen Del DiGiorno pizza, a steak or two. It's all according to how many nights I've gone up there. A box of Bubba Burgers. And if you ever never had Bubba Burgers, you got to find them in the supermarket. They're frozen hamburgers. Cook them on a griddle. Absolutely delicious. I introduced uh, Phil Barr and Dwayne and Jake the Fox to them, and they couldn't believe it, how, how juicy and tasty the Bubba Burgers are. But my wife has one. It's awesome car. Get one. See that? Which model does she have? Uh, I know there, there's multiple ones, but Lisa, Lisa's got a, a two-year-old or three-year-old Ford. All right, so say say a three year old Ford. When you put it in reverse, oh since God. the day she's had it, so the brakes squeal so loud. People stop and look. Like, where is that noise coming from? It's so embarrassing. She has a cross train. Okay, now I, I have to check to see my brother which one he has. He an should outback. be getting his car. He has an Outback. He should be getting his car back. But he was in an auto accident in Philadelphia. Another crazy story. It's Philadelphia. It's just, oh my God, it's, it's, it's wild. The guy smashes into my brother, puts his car in the air. My brother's car is in the air. Boom, flies over, lands. The guy's car is totaled. The guy gets out of it, takes off running as my brother's trying to call the police. And he, now he's videotaping the guy running away. Within a minute, a tow truck pulls up. A flatbed backs up, hooks the car, and takes off with the car that hit my brother. When the cops get there, my brother says to the cops, you're not going to believe this. And the cop's like, try me. There's nothing you can tell me that I'm not going to believe. I've seen it all. Thank God he had insurance. My brother had insurance. The guy was just gone. Within a minute, the only person out there looked like he had a single car accident. 
there was no no evidence of the other guy being there. Um, uh, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, I'm going, going through the list. Now, I don't th – those – when when you buy a membership or you purchase the membership, I guess we should send you something. We're going to have to send you something. <laughs> They're going to have to send you something. You want Roger or Rosie? Ro Roger, yeah, well, no, no. no See, Eric, and, Eric and Zach are taking Roger. Nah, and then nobody's... Brian – Brian Ramsey and his wife, or BK Bowhunter, they want both dogs, but they don't have any rabbit turds to feed them. Rosie's not going anywhere. You should see their perfect little angels over there sleeping in their beds on the floor. They're so mad that there's no pizza night, so there's no pizza bones for them. He ran into himself. Uh, time for bed going after number two tomorrow. Good luck. Good luck. You don't need luck. He spends he, he, he scout. He does the opposite of what I do. He prepares. He goes out there and he scouts the area. He knows where he's at. He doesn't get lost. I get lost. You don't get lost. He went to waste time. He got lost. Phil. I get lost, Phil. I get lost. The last day I got lost was the last day I was out there. Archery season in the winter in January. I got turned around over by the power lines and I thought I was walking you walk towards the creek and then you follow the creek out to the road well I was walking and I wasn't getting any closer to the creek and it was getting dark and going and going and then I had to take my phone out and use the GPS from my phone well I was going that way and I should have been going the other way I got turned around I thought while I was sitting there hunting I thought I was looking that direction and it turns out I was looking like over there somewhere. I'm a city guy. I'm a city guy. I could get lost driving my truck in the neighborhood that I've lived in for 59 years. You're right. It is the scariest feeling in the world. because And panic sets in so fast. And it's like, wait a minute. I have a GPS. Like, relax. But I could get lost walking around or driving around the neighborhood that I've lived in for 59 years in Philly. But yet, I used to take the boat out 30 miles into the ocean and just start it up, turn around, and come back in. It was like no big deal. But yet, I get I have to use the GPS on my truck. The worker would fill him up the mountains. Like, I sit in the passenger seat, and I'm like, where the heck are we? I'm like, and then the next day, he's like, well, can you drive with Philip to the job site? I'm like, Philip's got to drive. I don't know where I'm going. Get lost all the time. So anyway, it is. You're right. It is a, a very scary feeling, um, and it doesn't take long. I mean, it like especially if it's starting to get dark, and it, like the panic just starts to set in. But I, I got my phone out and I use Onyx Hunting, um, and uh, you know. Go to, boom, arrow was pointing, and I just had to walk that direction. And I was uh, I was at my truck 25 minutes later. Um, it was lucky, lucky I survived. Uh -oh. oh, she'd be lost without me. Lost, I tell you. Especially tomorrow morning when we go to Home Depot. And I make up stuff about the people in line behind us. I tell the cashier. Remember the, the 80s? The guy was like 80 some years old. I'm telling the cashier, call security. Guy behind us is stealing. His pockets are full of stuff. The cashier was panicking. She didn't want to do this nice looking old guy. Like, oh my God, I can't call. I'm like, go ahead, call. I'll stand here. I'll be a witness. The lady's like, I'm not calling. Then I had to tell her I was making it up anyway. <laughs> Where you go up, you see these older women standing in there, and you go over and you go, excuse me. I think that's heavy. Oh, it looks pretty heavy. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, I got a bad back. Can you throw that in the cart for me? <laughs> and I just walk away. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Uh, Becca. Becca thought it was funny. So does Perry County. That's both from Perry County. 
guys know each other? <laughs> Why did you say that like TV Harmon? Lisa sent me a photo. She's been cleaning her desk off now since her birthday in March when I told her to quit her job. So she's been, yes, they do know each other. They've been cleaning, she's been cleaning her desk off. How many boxes have you brought home so far? Just one box and a bag. Okay, a box and a bag. She sent me a photograph of the stuff that's still on her desk. We're going to have to rent a storage unit. Go somewhere every day for 43 years, you get collect a lot of crap. <laughs> she may or may not be sitting across the living room from you. Ah. Oh. Oh. It's Perry County Outdoors supervision. Now we know. Now we know. You're going to have to, uh, Jake the Fox is Philip and Krabby is Lisa. Don't mess up my brain anymore, right? Yeah, you know what? It's funny. I I, I do that most of the times. I call her Krabby, and then sometimes during conversation, I'll say Lisa, and they're like, oh, "Who's who here?" And they want to know, like, is she Krabby or am I Krabby? Well, we're both Krabby. She's Krabby, and I'm Krabby Bill. I was Krabby first. She was Krabby first. Obvious. It's obvious she was Krabby first. Right behind on the couch. Okay. We never sit together. Opposite sides of the room. Usually me on the love seat, her on the sofa. Or me in the easy chair and her on the sofa. I mean, as much as she likes to sit with me and snuggle. <laughs> the miniature furniture that she originally bought us for the front porch, which we're now going to put on the back porch. Right. Yep. yep. So, what's that? Nine, twelve. You talk an awful lot. I do. Well, it's what I do. Minutes. It's what I do. I talk a lot. I <laughs> we had. I recently had a phone call. Mia, you guys should do a video of the Krabby origin story, story of how you met, and then how the Krabby nickname came to be. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. We want to do the original how we met story, all the begging and you know her crying and please take me out. Well, I don't. I don't know that we need to get in all that and like you know all that personal information. Please, please. So it's past Krabby's bedtime. It is. She's normally falling asleep by now. If it was Saturday night, I would be asleep. Columbo would be on, and I would be snoring on the couch. You saw her birthday video. I'm still paying for that, too, by the way. Still mad at me You're for posting. you for that for a long time. Still mad at me for posting that photo. What's the matter? You can't have fun. It's the night I got in trouble. For those of you who didn't see that video, that was the night I got in trouble for breathing heavy. <laughs> Walking home. After being out drinking all day with her for her birthday, Wait a I, I was like, let's clarify who was drinking all day. Both of us. You. You you may have been nursing your drinks. I was guzzling mine, but you were nursing the yours. The first one I had I was a margarita finish. with breakfast. I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. And the second one I had a Cosmo. A Cosmo, I finished. So mm -hmm. I had a drink and a half. Okay. As to how many did you have? Phil's going to bed because he's going to Carlisle tomorrow. Phil, you have to text me tomorrow and let me know how you made out. You know why. <laughs> I didn't want to say what it was. That's his personal business. <sighs> no, that's enough from you, mister. You can't, yeah, you, know, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yep. 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 Time to say good night. It is time to say goodnight. I am getting a little hungry, too. I knew it. He says, well, will you be all right if we don't make pizza tonight? I'm kind of full. I said, yeah. And now he's hungry. He thinks I'm making a pizza now. Earlier, I said, 
do you want to make the pizza anyway so that if we get hungry, we could have it later? No, because or it taste do you, as good sitting there. But I did say that, didn't I? You did. Okay. And then I said, or would you rather just go with nothing and see if you can make it through tonight? I think I can make it, but I was wrong. Doritos. When are we going to see a weekly cooking with crabby video? Well, we were just talking about that earlier. I'm going to clean the grill and the griddle tomorrow. Oh, she brought stuff. What did you bring? Chicken stir fry. Chicken stir fry. Unless you take him out. I'm retired. To huh? the Elks. <laughs> yeah, right. Take I could take her to the Elks. Take her to the Elks. The food there is supposed to be really, really good. The beer's cold. Uh, so yeah, we may we could do that. But I need to uh, I do need to uh, clean the griddle. We haven't used the griddle since since Phil. And Jake the Fox were down here, and Dwayne. Yeah. So it's been since October uh, that the three of them were here. The last time they were here, it was just the two of them. Uh, but the last time they had Dwayne was the last time I uh, I used the griddle. So uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to take it all apart and clean it. I oiled, cleaned it and oiled it real well then and keep it covered. But, you know, it's going to need uh, – first we've had uh, – sorry about that. Exactly. Uh, We've had uh, we've had a lot of bad weather down here, man. Since September, we had the tropical storm in September, and we we've had wind, like fifty mile an hour wind, sixty mile an hour wind on a regular basis. Uh, good night, guys. Going to bed too. I'm going to try to get some video of us at the car show tomorrow. Yeah, they're going to uh, they're going to Carlisle, Pennsylvania's car show. The three fills: P1, P2, and P3 which is really nice. Um, you reading my texts? I am, because I saw Billy. I thought you were talking about me. Billy Joel. Billy, Billy Joel. Joel. Well, I didn't see Joel. I saw Billy. Billy Joel. Oh, my God. Anyway. Time's up. Yeah, we thank everybody for uh, for joining in. And Perry Hello, County, Jake the Fox. thank you very much. You're the first person to... Uh, Buy a membership. I don't know what happens with that. I'm not tech savvy, uh, but I will uh, I will look at the computer and see what happens. And if you send me an email with your information on it, we'll send you something. I don't know what it's going to be. Send us your shirt size. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. And then on this video that's going to come out uh, for her and I, not the one that comes out tomorrow, but the video that will come out during the week. Um, we'll have the rules for the giveaway. And I think it's going to be like a $50 Amazon gift card. I think Amazon's pretty safe. Everybody buys stuff from Amazon. So uh, we'll put the requirements and all that kind of stuff in there. Requirements? Uh, yeah, well, like you'll have to leave a comment so I know you watch the video. Sounds scary. See, you know what you have to realize is I'm social, she's financial. All right. She's right. got to make a pizza now, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And, and 50. Good. No, not the bear, Steve. She throws 50s out there like they're nothing when her family's coming around. Uh, what, Stephen? He said the giveaway is the bear. Whoa, the new bear? No way. That bear looks good. That bear looks real good. I think his name is Bob. Yeah, she hasn't named him yet. What about Bob? Yeah, it's kind of spooky when you're sitting there uh, just with the fire going. You look up and all of a sudden you see the... Well, he's mad. He's got he screwed wood into his feet. <laughs> firewood. Pieces of firewood. The bear standing on pieces of firewood. It looks good. Stick her for his chalk. I, do that. I actually have... They're, they're like yeah, this. No, they're, they're like this. Crabby Bill stickers. Yes, we could send you one of them. I actually, when I bought the sticker for my truck, I bought extras just in case. Like, I don't know, you go through the car wash or whatever. It's because uh, I go to the car wash three times a week. It's a sickness. Uh, 
I like my truck to be clean. I like my truck to be clean. I'm, I, I, I'm going to be down here Sunday. There's no car wash down here. Oh, I'm off on Monday. Are you well, going home? I have to go to uh, work. Oh. Anyway, look at her car wash. But I do have a Krabby Bill sticker. I would love to send that to you. So send me your information, and I will I will get that right out to you. We'll, uh, we'll get it shipped out. But thank you, everybody, for joining in. I hope uh, you enjoy yourselves. We always do. I know I talk a lot. I can't stop it sometimes. But I hope we entertain you. Uh, thanks for everybody checking in, and uh, we look forward to uh, to doing this again soon. We'll check back. Who steals my lines? <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>